hello and welcome to this tutorial today we are going to set up a kubernetes cluster uh, on ubuntu 20.04 using uh, t2.medium ec2 instance on aws so i know that you have tried many times installing kubernetes cluster on ec2 but you may encounter encounter some of the errors that may arise while the installation because it is a very complex process so today i am here to give a demonstration so i have written a script and i will uh, give you the set of commands in the description you just have to copy paste that in your terminal so we have some commands that we have to run on both our master and worker node you can have worker node adds as many as you want but our master node will be only one so first we will run these commands on every ec2 instance and then we will run this command on the master and then it will generate a token which we have to just copy paste on the worker node so in this demonstration we are going to use a uh, around two ec2 instances one will be our master node and another will be our worker node so just log into your aws account so sign in and then you just have to go to your ec2 instance management console so here it is loading uh, okay so just click on ec2 okay go to the running instances so here as you can see that i already have a lot of instances running so they don't get afraid of these uh, i have created them while uh, practicing so you just have to click on the launch instance button and okay you will see something like this just click on ubuntu choose ubuntu 20.04 you can choose 20 point you can choose 18.04 also you can choose uh, 22.04 you can choose the uh, 20.04 hvm with sql server bus but in this tutorial i am going to use 20.04 and i also recommend you to just choose the same image which i am choosing which is 20.04 because uh, one thing it is free tire another thing is that while using the 22.04 you may get some uh, prompts while the installation which may confuse you or you get some other you will start restart some other services that uh, may prevent your cluster to build up and so that's why i don't recommend you to use the 22.04 we also have 18.04 but at this period of time march 2023 uh, it's been around 15 days left for the Ubuntu server 18.04 to get out of its support because it will have only five years support since it is LTS. So just choose Ubuntu server 20.04 LTS. Okay, we have chosen it. Then we have to choose the instance type. For instance type, for a Kubernetes cluster, the minimum requirement for instance type or you can see for a Kubernetes cluster, you need 20, sorry, two vCPU minimum. If you have a, uh, if you have less than two, your, cl your cluster can't work. In fact, you can't install the kubectl or kubeadm. So I recommend you for a uh, minimum requirement you should choose uh, t2 dot my uh, you should choose t2 dot medium and if you have it and this is a minimum 
and if you want a more uh, amazing experience then you can also choose m5 dot large so this is my so for this tutorial we are just using t2 dot medium you can upgrade it if you, if you run more if you want to run more ports in future but for now just t2 dot medium for the key pairs uh, section it it's solely depend on your choice that you may uh, not use the key pair or you want to use the key pair i am using key pair and that's it it depends upon your choice for the firewall security group uh, you can choose as per your uh, choice but you can choose also choose the default one but i am choosing a or this real net subgroup which i already have and as here you can see the security uh, rules security group rules which we have the thing which you have just focus is i recommend you to have a inbound or outbound outbound rule for all traffic all port number all ranges and all source because it will make you, uh, the installation process a little bit easy so you can also create your own security group by uh, allowing all traffic for configuration storage the uh, minimum uh, storage for a kubernetes cluster per node is around 20 gb and 30 gb is recommended but i am using i also use 30 gb so so that we get a enhanced experience and remember that t2.medium is not a free instance which it is not included in the free tire so you will be charged for around 0 0.0496 usd per hour but we will uh, but it doesn't uh, but you don't have any other choice if you want to run a Kubernetes cluster. So remember the settings and we are going to create two nodes. One will be master, another will be worker node. And you can have as many, you can use as many as you want, but I'm using only two. So uh, for a quick review, we are using image Ubuntu 20.04 t2.medium is our uh, instance type 30 gb is our uh, storage plus we have a security group which allow all uh, traffic inbound and outbound from all sources over all port ranges so uh, as you can see this launch instance so Let's view all instances. So here they are in pending state right now. Let's refresh it. And in this whole process of installation and the demonstration, the tutorial, I am not going to cut the clip so that you understand that what errors may arise and how to tackle them while the installation so that's why i am not editing this video or cutting cutting the clips so that you get the core understanding okay so here our nodes are started so actually i also uh, already have a master worker node so let's terminate them instances selling instances okay so as you can see we have these two instances let's give them a name one will be our master node and that will be our worker node so give it a node if you have uh, other instances also if you want a much bigger cluster then you can keep them name as your choice so let's get connected with them connect master connect connect
so here it is okay this is our node this is our master node so let's when we will cross this uh, icon then we can't uh, this uh, get to know that uh, which one is our node or which one is our master node so let's give them a name first a host name so and before that for all root privileges you should type this command so now you will get all the root privileges let me make the this screen a little bit bigger so that you can see it more clearly so just type uh, okay, host name dash as you can see here there now uh, is how we are just we are seeing the master so here similarly we will go in the node then we will so also and host name dash and as you can see node in place of IP address similar so from now just have to go in the uh, this document I will uh, give you the these commands in the description so that you can get, uh, type uh, you don't have to type them by your own and in the description section you will find commands in this format both master and for node you will just have to paste the token which you will get paste uh, token. so you, you just have to paste the token which you will get in while running this command so first just run this setup command on both master and worker node so just copy paste enter as uh, this com this command will update our systems and this will install docker because docker is necessary uh, before installing uh, kubernetes or making a kubernetes cluster so let's give this time to get updated while this is updating let me give a little bit of history that uh, how i get to know all of, uh, all these things so actually uh, while my internship i was uh, tasked to create a kubernetes cluster and i get filled in it so I spend around a lot of time while learning how to create a Kubernetes cluster on Ubuntu and that's how I learn it and I understand that it is a very big headache for everyone so I am creating this video so that everyone can learn from it let's go to the third command copy Go to the master, paste, go to the node, give it time to get completed the previous command. So, paste again. Cut C, D,
and see this, how beautiful it is. I really like this thing. And let's again see it. Yeah. This pattern. I really like it. So in this, uh, with this command, we will create a, uh, we will, uh, start the cluster on our master node and this part of the command will give it a pod network, a, a CIDR block, which is classless interdomain routing. And if you don't use it, then it will give it a, uh, by default CIDR block and I recommend you to paste this command with the whole cider block so that you will not get any error and this command you will just have to paste in the master so let's uh, cite the node and just paste it in the master when you will run this command it will uh, check some uh, pre-flight uh, checks and then it will uh, install this certification and then it will give you the uh, kubectl uh, sorry the join command which you will have to paste in every other worker node of your cluster so that they uh, get connected with the master node and master node will, node will know that yeah they are connected so it will take some time and so here is our qvadm join command and before copy pasting it in the node we first have to make a directory and this thing so that uh, the the master node will, will save the data of uh, worker nodes in some folder so that's it so now we have completed all setup uh, work on the master now we just have to copy and paste this on the worker node so here it is enter and soon we will see the message that this node has joined the cluster so i am waiting for it very patiently yeah so this node has joined the cluster yeah here it is now if we go in the master node and see and i use the get yeah it's working uh, and sometimes it happened that after two to three minutes of the cluster setup, uh, the API server gets stopped working. So you should wait for five, uh, two to five minutes and then uh, reload the page or replicate it or restart the cluster So to test it. So here I will put, uh, write QCPL cat and some errors may arrive so i recommend you to just first get the privileges of root user type sudo so and then i it is so our kubernetes cluster has been deployed over two nodes which are running on the EC2. So I hope you get understand about all these things. And if you get any error or have any uh, question, then you can ask me in the description section and I will definitely answer it. So thank you. Thank you for watching.